Today is the day of computer graphics. Hello everybody, it's the new whole universe. I hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experience and today we're gonna learn more about how our vectors, shadows, shaders and other geometry inside of our live game works through the reading of one interesting article about them. We have specific buttons, we have specific articles like sub-articles inside of it about transformations, reference, projection, lighting, sampling, textures, space portioning and other global eliminations and I want to say that I want to learn more about it because I kind of know about how our dots are connected with lines and some of the vectors how are they going and but I need to improve a little bit of my knowledge and you can learn it by by uh, watching this video by kind of thinking in the same time and let's do this together by the way I'm Russian and uh, I don't know maybe some vocabulary that uh, it is written here so excuse me for it. We have some of the shapes as you see this. It is a rectangle on Cartesian coordinates and also vectors we have. It is good, 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 good. It is understandable. Nice. Okay, introduction to geometry that we have here. Cube is a facing the view is facing the viewer. Okay, cube is a rotated perspective projection. It is uh, we understand it too. Okay, some of the also description that we have and also let's do a little bit uh, more uh, more read readability. We have points. Okay, we understand that this the simple thing that we can uh, see in our world. Vector. We know what is it too. Also, orthogonal vectors need to learn because uh, it is new vocabulary or of ortho. It is in Russian we call them orthogonalne. And uh, perpendicular vectors angle between them in nineties. It is if we will see the Cartesian coordinates, then they will be orthogonal vectors. Okay, line set of points that satisfy a linear equation of two variables example x plus y equals 2. It is good, amazing, we understand that it's actually the set of points, everything is a set of points, and point is a super, like, super small thing in our life. L line segment this is the part of a line, we understand that this kind of, we have the line and we can uh, kind of say and let this line be smaller than the original one. Okay, plane, a set of points that is a linear equation of three variables, we know that we have two variables and we have the three val variables x, y, z. It is act actually plane. It is uh, good to understand because uh, you you know that line it is kind of x and y and plane it is something something more. We have here, here, here it is actually the, the something that set of points on it and it is actually the plane because we have the 3D here. Dot product also called scalar product and inner product. Let's learn about it. It is V on U and equals V on U times times cos, cosine U V. And actually it is kind of, we will imagine that it looks like this way and U V it is one vector, another vector, I think so. And uh, it is the angle and cosine actually, we can Google right now cosine. It is the one moment, cosine, we have the adjacent, I think so, and also we have the cosine function, yes, we have, uh, it is from one, and sine it is from something else, one moment, sine it will be for the from zero, yes, uh, it is goes from one, it is an interesting thing that you sh should understand, that cosine goes from one, and so then goes this way and sine goes from zero and starts from it like it is a little bit changed like to the to the right a little bit from minus p p half of p yes so we kind of uh, replace it we kind of switch it we kind of saying that hey go go to this place and also we have adjacent and need to understand what's the adjacent adjacent that is one and uh, one moment we will open them Tra Tr trigonometry. Let's open them and uh, it will be here. I think that yes. Sine, cosine uh, and uh, one moment. It is uh, somewhere here. We need to understand what is what. It is uh, in uh, trigonometry and sine, cosine. Let's open them. And uh, it is the equations. Yes, adja adjacent we have and uh, the sine. It is opposite sine it is opposite on ad, on hap, hypotenuse and uh, adjacent it is uh, and uh, cosine it is 
here adjacent on hypotenuse and uh, hypotenuse on adjacent it is second and uh, cosecant we have hypotenuse on op opposite and cot cotangent we have adjacent on opposite okay and we need to understand adjacent on hypotenuse it is the sign that we are reading about it is like we have two things and we have adjacent on hypotenuse. Actually, it is they are near. It is one and another. It is one and another here. Yes, one line and another. Okay, we understand. Coordinate systems we have specific uh, hands here. The axis direction positive angle to be counterclockwise rotation. Let's let's read it. We usually want to use the right-handed coordinate system. And uh, yes, we have uh, right and also left. It is actually going to there and. Uh, Usually, the right-hand coordinate system, this will also fix the positive angle to be in the counterclockwise rotation. The positive angle is an angle from x-axis to y-axis when you are looking from the positive direction of the z-axis. Okay, it goes this way. And also left to right, up, down, forward, backward, orthogonalization. And what is it? We will see later that actually in computer graphics we are using many coordinate systems and always transforming them. For example, if we turn our camera around the up vector, the coordinate system centered on the camera. Camera space has the left backward vectors changed because we can hold floating point numbers only up to a certain precision. Precision is specific movement. Some error is bound to happen and precision precision also what what could it happen one moment? What could it mean? And it is uh, ah Okay, because in a rational language you have precision. Okay, it is uh, accuracy. It is the precision uh, Sorry, it is okay. Let's change our mini that precision is the touchness. It is accuracy exactness fidelity correctness exactitude okay definition uh, neatness in Russian we have precise and uh, it is precise of uh, axis so we we know we have it in in uh, one moment I, I will I will open right now it is in uh, in astronomy and uh, yes it is uh, pre Прайцессио, движение впереди, явление, при котором ось вращения тела меняет свое направление в пространстве. It is uh, the phenomenon when our, our axis of, of rotation of the body, it changes his, its direction in the, in the dimension, in the space, in the space. And uh, in English, how we call it actually, it is pre precision ah okay it is here it is uh, this time type, type of thing and uh, it was calling almost the same okay and cosine Jesus a little bit of uh, hurting of my of my left trigeminal nerve I hope that everything will be fine Graham Schmidt process okay we have here Pythagoras theorem to investigate if we substitute that back to the dot of pro dot product u v c u u c okay so we get the length from the start of the vector v to the projection of u and onto v this is called a scalar projection and it it is the first indicator that the dot product has some really interesting and u useful applications now to Graham Schmidt process assuming that we have those g same vectors u u and v we want to make u orthogonal to v okay u orthogonal to v from the image above we can see that this can be accomplished if we just add to u a vector of length c and a and a direction opposite of v or in other words we can subtract c v from u okay this Actually, the main step in Gra Graham Schmidt, we pick one vector that will serve as a starting point. This vector will stay the same currently. Currently, it is V. Okay, points and vectors. Front face. And guys, I think that I should stop this video. It is uh, because uh, I'm kind of feel that a little bit of... Uh, it is uh, it hurts a bit and I'm kind of better to read it by my own when I read it by my own that then I don't feel kind of this inside of my 
my my tricky mind on earth let's let's read some new vocabulary maybe that i don't know sure yes we know what is it this is actually changing as a uh, old old uh, shed yes in your in your maybe village and also we have rotations also we have this matrix of rotation okay it is changing of the position of them and look it is uh, changing of the positions of the specific dots i think that it is maybe specific uh, sine cosines and also linear transformation z axis okay specific dots and scale we can do scaling and actually we make the better x and y we can make it bigger to look look at this good yes and uh, also okay we have the numbers column transformation matrix vertex shader row major format also we have geometry and transformation the website of it key, key cg learn code light dot eu if you want to learn about it more translation transformation that will add a scalar value to the coordinates yes it is changing of the of the of the placement and commutativeness it is the property of an operation where the order of operands does not change the result a thin transformation transform that will preserve parallelness or parallel lines and also associativity property of an operate where the in the order of consequence operation does not change the result of consecutive okay and this does not change the result where the order of operands operands and also consequence operations okay sin graph also a graph usually a tree that defines the relation between objects that may be abstract in a scene stack okay translation we have also we have some people we are changing it is kind of sheer and skew we have we have here and some of the changing of translate x translate y translate z okay it is specific like movements and to what is translate actually in English language? Let's learn it. Translate. It is the переносить, transfer, carry, transport, beer, stand, translate. It means different. It is actually expressed the sense move from one place or condition to another. Cause a body to move so that all its part travel in the same direction without rotation or change of shape. And actually it is the translate x, it is changing of x value we can say to this place. And also changing of y variable, y position. And okay, we have some of the multiple transformations also here and movements alpha also it is a kind of rotation okay also we have some movements too and different r yes r2 it is r of everybody and it is r of small parts of this and also it is the specific how we move them x y z also this okay and so we have also rodriguez rotation formula and they are moving around good i actually don't want to speak louder because when i speak louder then i feel kind of inside of my ear frame of reference we have object space world space camera space clip space screen space clipping orthogonal cross product okay we have it good amazing and uh, we have them clip space near the near plane left plane camera also movements they are good amazing and also some movements of this dude it is going from one side to another and shading and lighting look at this shading model lighting model material properties light properties point light source directional light source we have the oh, rgb schema we can make them red fully red or maybe this white or maybe this kind of violet or kind of red and blue violet blue and also lambert lighting model okay we have different types of lighting also viewer direction reflected light viewer 
and uh, Berlin phone lighting model we have good textures and sampling and we have UV mapping interpolation process of finding a previously unknown value between a number of known values linear interpolation and interpolation technique that assumes there is a straight line between the known values the unknown values is taken from that line and uh, as I was mentioning it before in previous videos interpolation as the process of kind of finding what's between nearest neighbor interpolation and interpolation technique that takes the nearest known value to be the unknown value and upscaling also we have and different points okay good amazing MIP map also some points it is going from side to side different signals sampled allies also yes we were learning it in my university Blender, depth buffer, frame buffer, depth testing, Z fighting, color b blending, conventional straight alpha versus pre multiplied alpha, blend function, additive blending, bu multiplicative blending. Okay, far, near, far, near, far, it is like, like uh, Celine Dillon song. Blend, source, source, okay, conventional, good, it is specific like how we get one color and another, yes? And so we have blend, it is zero, also 100. And we have the one moment, also, wow, look at this, they are moving. Yes, and uh, environment mapping, we have the world, world space, skybox, positive, negative, okay. Here, incident, surface, they are moving. It is actually the amazing thing. And curves we have. They are 2.0, 1, 2, 3. And from one side to another. Some matrices, B splinals. It is busier. Or maybe blending. Also we have the NURBS. Yes, and we have them too. And they are moving. You can use this website to do your own things. Busy curves, yes, as I was determining them before. We have points, also some of the dots here. A very important curve is a, in computer graphics is a busy curve. We could construct it with a constraint and basis matrices like we did before. But let us try a different approach first. Consider four control points. P, O, P1, P2 and P3 like before. Now take a linear interpolation between two consecutive consecutive control points with our parameter T. We will get three points. Let us call them Q, O, Q1 and Q th Q2. We do the same with those points and find two linear combinations R, O and R1. One more step to go and we get a point C, O. Okay. We learned about busy curves and uh, what's more we have procedural generation yes formal grammar particle system noise procedural noise a pattern of values that will seem somehow random although might not actually be it is not like noise of uh, that we can say oh noise i hear it or something it is actually the specific randomness randomness it is the description of the noise guys and uh, it is how it looks, gradient, projection also, we have here some of the weights of granules and different colors, hermit also we have, what's hermit by the way, one moment, hermit, hermit, and this, hermite, hermite, okay, what is it, <laughs> if you know, let me know in the comment section, it will be interesting to know, particle also, and emitter and emission from them, ray tracing also we have and three special index in data structure, ray tracing, ray casting, ray okay and good, they are moving around and global illumination light source, outgoing light, here is normal, path tracing, local illumination, global illumination, good they are going from side to side and shadows we have also umbra, penumbra, and also we need one more, Pen penumbra, antumbra, 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 penumbra, umbra, and hard shadow and uh, low shadow, 
sh and uh, soft shadow okay different shadows different aspect ratio and okay let's talk about it what have i learned i learned more about these lines also rotations also penumbra and tumbra umbra it is different shadows penumbra it is more of the like here and also antumbra it is what is it one moment you need to open it and we have the shadow models and it is half shadow formed when different penumbras meet and half shadow formed in partially shadowed area aha uh -huh. it is so when different they are kind of connecting to each other it is we have the main and also we have intersecting of them in, and so they are connected to each other it is antumbra and penumbra it is one more okay and hard shadow alone to also quaternions also rotations matrices translation of one thing to another and uh, movements and also about uh, geometry of dot product of the cosine cosine it is uh, the adjacent to hypotenuse and sine it is uh, the opposite to hypotenuse it is uh, really nice to understand because uh, in Russia we use different vocabulary for it and it is good to know so thank you a lot for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and uh, yes it is e easier to speak calmer i i want to say not like easier in the meaning of the it is uh, right now in the current moment it is better to speak uh, this way or i don't know how to, how it is better but actually thank you a lot for watching and uh, we will learn more about it and uh, it is good it is really good to communicate with you and uh, need to heal need to heal trigeminal nerve it is uh, super like sometimes uh, i'm concerned or uh, Okay, need to think positive about it. it. It is better to speak about something else than about this. We can say about it in an anatomy way. <laughs> like we have lips, we have nose, we have ears, we have different shapes of our body, bodies. And uh, okay, so thank you a lot for watching. Improve Sal Daily, learn more. You know the website. It is thecodelight.eu. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye.